Hello, I'm doing something very painful today. I'm going to obey the law. The Treaty of Trianon was an incredibly harsh treaty placed on Hungary after World War I and limited them massively in the decades that followed. But I'm going to be a good boy and stick to the treaty and obey every rule and still win. Here we are, glorious landlocked weird shaped Hungary and here are the rules. No tanks, no air force, no navy and worst of all I am only allowed to have 35,000 men in the army. It's very painful but Horthy is going to have to be a good boy. And if you want to be good as well, you should like and subscribe for new challenge videos every week. So first of all, we have to figure out what path we can do. There are a few paths you can go as Hungary, and you're meant to go the cool monarchist one, but you can't. Because another stipulation of the Treaty of Trianon is that Hungary is not allowed to increase its borders. This means no reclaiming Austria. This means no leaving my own borders. And also, no renouncing the treaty. This means I can only go down the democratic king path. I can only join the allies and hope for the best. But don't worry, I do have a few tricks up my sleeve you'll see later. Right, we already start with way too many men. I don't know why Hungary is already breaking the treaty. Shame on you, Horthy. But we're going to delete all the divisions we don't need. I've worked it out and I am only able to have four divisions of a very specific template to keep within the 35,000 manpower limit. I'll show you the template later when I have the XP to afford it, but in the meantime, I have to get rid of all of my planes. Again, Horthy, what the hell? Why are you already breaking it? Delete. We don't have to worry about the navy because, uh, again, we're landlocked. Since we have so few divisions, we can only really defend a tiny bit of our country, and we're going to defend Budapest and this one random plains tile for a very important reason that you will see later. Trust me, it's worth it. And since we're only going to be defending these two tiles in northern Hungary, there's basically no reason to build anything anywhere else. So while we wait for the state to get more construction slots, I guess we'll just build a lot of forts. We're going to need all 10 in both states. These four divisions are going to be all we ever have, so I'm going to just fill them up with artillery and anti-air. These divisions are going to need a lot of equipment, but we have years to make it, so we should be fine. I'm also going to make an agency while I remember. Hey, I'm not going to be a huge military superpower. I might as well spy on people. And immediately our first agent gets captured. Uh, uh, okay. And the agent I sent after her to free her has also been captured. Okay. Going down some of the eco-focuses, luckily a lot of them give stuff specifically in northern Hungary, which is the one state we care about, so yay. And here is the template that I'll be using. It's a pretty simple 6-2 with some anti-air engines and artillery. Four of these just about exactly equals 35,000 men. And that's all we'll ever be able to have. And since we're going to have to basically sit still for 10 years or something, we might as well go grand battle plan for more entrenchment. And since we've gone democratic, we've lost Horthy. We've gained Ar Ar Arpad Sazakazats. Please forgive me, Hungarians. Unfortunately, even though I'm being a good boy, other people are not. I have just been given territory in the first Vienna award. There is no way for me to turn this down. I have been given a bunch of territories I do not want, but okay. It's even more useless because I have such little manpower, I cannot afford to garrison this. I have to set it to no garrison. It's just going to be a massive pile of insurrection and rebellion. It's March 39 now, so we're getting pretty close. We're going to do the first step of my secret plan and start to research experimental rockets quite ahead of time. Don't worry, this isn't as stupid as it first appears. Oh, but what is stupid is that I forgot that the Vienna Award is actually two states, not just southern Slovakia, it's that eastern bit as well. I forgot to put that to no garrison, so I've lost thousands of men in garrison for no reason. Ah! Oh wow, not even my fellow Balkan countries respect the law. I've been given more concessions. I had to do this focus so I could join the Allies, but this forces me to revise the Treaty of Trianon. The only thing it gives me though is a bit more recruitable pop and military construction speed. It also does let me go up in conscription laws, but I'm going to refuse. Even though other powers have revised the treaty, I am a firm believer in the rule of law. I will stay a disarmed nation. Let's see if I regret that, because it's time. We're joining the Allies. We've got max forts in these two provinces, tons of entrenchment, and tens of thousands of equipment. We're ready, I think. Ha! Huh. Joining the war actually gets rid of the Treaty of Trianon, but I'm still going to abide by it, alright? I believe in the rule of law. They're just marching into me, and they're also sending planes. I built a lot of anti-air, and it looks like it's working. I'm shooting down quite a lot of German casts. 
All right, there it is. This is going to be our borders for the next <laughs> very long time. We are completely surrounded. And they are trying to hit us very frequently, but our divisions have so much defense and entrenchment that they actually cannot do anything. Interestingly enough, because we have support anti-air, they can actually pierce the crappy German panzer divisions. Okay, yeah, um, Germany really hates me. They've been hitting me for almost an entire year now, and I have dealt half a million casualties to them. I've only suffered three. I'm kind of locked out of a lot of my focus tree now. Going down the military path actually tries to force divisions onto me. I would count that as recruitment, so I'm not going to do it. I will obey the law. Right, experimental rockets has finally been researched. This means we can finally build rocket sites. But far more importantly, look at this. We've been capturing their equipment. We've got a bunch of Panzer IVs in our stockpile just sitting in a garage somewhere, rotting away. Because I can't put them into my divisions. I'm not allowed. Tanks? What's that? Never heard of them. Also, one million total German casualties dealt just by me. Come on, that's awesome. Oh, hold the phone, I don't need to do anything. Look at this, the British are here to save the day. They have naval invaded Bornholm. Oh, thanks guys. Wait, is that the Brit- <sighs> It's the British Navy. The British Navy is trapped here in Bornholm. Why? Ooh, they are really ramping up their attacks. They are hitting me a lot. Oh, but it's okay. They've attacked the Soviet Union. They are like a year late, but it's fine. I imagine the soldiers getting shipped to the Eastern Front are very happy considering I've dealt over 3 million casualties to Germany. Oh wow, I've thrown all of Europe's plans out of whack. Britain has invaded the in Yugoslavia. What, what, why there? Come on. All right, I've been spending ages building rocket sites in Northern Hungary and we finally got basic guided missiles. This gives us missiles, woo! The whole reason I did this is because I can use the missiles to strategically bomb certain areas. I won't be able to reach Germany until I get the next tech in a couple of years, but this will allow me to get a little bit of war score. It's, uh, it, it's not going to be much war score, and I'm only going to be able to bomb my own factories that the Germans have captured from me, but it's something. Also, Britain has finally invaded Italian mainland and deposed Mussolini, so maybe things are going faster than I expected. Well, since things seem to be going quite well, let's pull another secret trick out. We're gonna call Sweden in. That's right, Hungary can call Sweden into the war. How? I, I don't know, it's, it's really stupid. Apparently the democratic king you pick is a prince of the Bernadotte Swedish royal family, so because you're at war, Sweden's like, oh, I'll, I'll join as well. I, I don't know, but it's fine. We can get them to join and dogpile onto Germany. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at them devour Norway in the north. That's awesome. Also, the Soviet Union is taking ages to do anything. Let's send an attaché, see what they're up to after improving relations a bit. Oh man, they got loads of divisions. They could easily push the Germans. Come on, let's go. Go to Berlin already. Well, in the very least, the Italian Civil War has fired, so that should speed things up nicely. Oh, oh no. We've only caused problems for Sweden. They've broken through at Copenhagen. I'm sorry, Sweden, I betrayed you. It's fine though, we've got the improved guided missile, finally. This means that in a little while, once they replenish, we will be able to start bombing other parts of Europe and actually get some war score. Okay, I've been sitting still for a couple of years now, just fending off endless attacks, and Italy has finally been liberated. This means that all of my surrounding territory has also been liberated, so we can actually push? Sadly, we weren't able to push that much, but it is pretty much over. The USSR has pushed and taken all of northeastern Germany, and the Allies have taken all the west. They've not capitulated yet, still, and there's also still Romania and Bulgaria to go, but for now, it's just about holding out and upholding the rule of law. Also, uh, the world is cursed and ruined because for some reason, the Soviet Union is actually fighting all of the Allies. I don't quite understand how this happened. I think, like, Britain attacked Iran and they became a communist puppet, so I'm not really sure, but it's fine. I didn't accept the call to arms, so everyone else can fight Russia. I'm not gonna. Remember, no aggression. Ah, there it is. At long last, Germany has been defeated. It took a very long time, but all of our territory has been restored. We, we only have four divisions, so we're gonna have to race to try to hold it down because the remnant troops might try to rush me, but it's something. I'm just rushing around, holding people back, and rushing into Bulgaria, but there it is. The end of the war. 
We won! And we also have a lot of war score as well, in recognition for our support for the rule of law, and to reward the honour and determination that it took to uphold a decades-old treaty. The Allies have granted us a wide expanse of land. Parts of Romania, of Germany, of Italy, and the return of Austria make the new Kingdom of Hungary. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe for loads more stupid challenges like this, and let me know any other weird treaties I should try to uphold in Hoy. I was Aldrahil, and I'll continue to be. And we did it. We obeyed the law. Bye-bye.